Shalom Aleichem, Rabotai, Shalom Aleichem. Be'ezrat Hashem, Rabotai, listen to this. Bizchut Rabbi Chaim Pinto, Me'a Kadosh Baruch Hu. Keep us big, Berachah, and Aslachah, and Bisiyat Adishmaya, and Me'a Kadosh Baruch Hu, fulfill all our wishes. Now, but I, why am I so excited that I'm saying the word Rabbi Chaim Pinto? It's not for the reason that I'm uh, mamash, about to start dancing, I'm happy, I'm just to say the word of Rabbi Chaim Pinto. Put aside that we say that the name of Rabbi Chaim Pinto brings miracle. Today, Rabotai, it is the Ilula of Rabbi Chaim Pinto II. But we know, Rabotai, that we have two Rabbi Chaim Pintos. So just to just go through the line fast, there's the first Rabbi Chaim Pinto, as we all know. He had a son named Rabbi Eden. Rabbi Eden's son was Rabbi Chaim Pinto II. And then that's already uh, my grandfather's father, Rabbi Chaim Pinto II. So today, it is the Ilula of Rabbi Chaim Pinto. You know, Rabotai, what's amazing about both of these Rabbi Chaim Pintos is we see that Put aside that we all get, always get mixed up with names. Even with the stories, even with the teachings, everything about both Rabbi Chaim Pintos were identical. Where it's like Rabbi Chaim Pinto that first came down for a second chapter down to the world to bring light to the world. The methods of, 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 of the stories, and tonight Be'ezat Hashem in the Shiur, at the Zohar class tonight Be'ezat Hashem, we're going to speak about the stories and to spread the light of Rabbi Chaim Pinto. But until then, we'll see that all the stories, everything is so similar. But you see, my like the second Rabbi Chaim Pinto was like a second piece of the first one. It's even said, you know, but I, that my grandfather's brother and my uncle, they both had a dream of Rabbi Chaim Pinto the first. In both instances, they both witnessed that the first Rabbi Chaim Pinto, when he came to them, he has the exact, but to the hairline face of the Rabbi Chaim Pinto that we have pictures of. Because we all know that the first Abichai Pinto he lived almost 300 years ago. We have no pictures, we have no drawings, we have nothing. But the second one, we have pictures. And that's why we always use in the Ilula of Abichai Pinto, you'll see everybody, everybody uses the picture of the second Abichai Pinto. Two different people, but we use the picture of the second Abichai Pinto to represent the first one. Because we have this, this witnessing that they look identical. Abotai, one day in a year like this, what an opportunity to take a perk teilim, to light the candle in the merit of Rabbi Chaim Pinto. We know, see so many miracles throughout the entire year of, of, of instances like this. Don't miss it out. Grab it and use it. Now, Abotai, today is what, what Sefira? Tiferet. We know, Abotai, that Tiferet, we mention every week, it is the Sefira of what? Of Limut Torah. Where we said, Titan Emet Yaakov, Emet is Torah. The Emet was given to Yaakov, which is the Torah. Bene Israel, Yaakov Sham, Tam Yoshev Walim. The concept of Limut Torah is attached to Tiferet. Tiferet represents the Torah. We even said that Tiferet is like the suit of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But we know what the Zohar Kadosh says, that one who respects the Tiferet and gives kavod to the Tiferet and spreads Torah and respects the Torah and greatens Emuna on the day of the Tiferet, a person like that, HaKadosh Baruch Hu comes down to the world to give him big bach. Now, but there's a famous Gemara. It's one of my famous, one of my most favorite Gemarot. And a lot of people try to shy away from it. But it is really an amazing Gemara. That's actually in Chagiga in Page Yudade. The story of Arbaash and Chasur Abades, the four that went to the Abades. So, what is the story? It's a, it's a story of Rabbi Akiva, Lisha ben Abuya, Ben Zoma, and Ben Azai. That all four went up to Abades, Abades meaning higher worlds. And when they went up, Rabbi Akiva told them to not do something specific. All three fell. Rabbi Akiva was the only one that went up and came down normal. The Gemara says, but Elisha ben Avuya, later known as Acher, that he actually became a Rasha after he went up. It says that when he went up to Shammai and he started to climb up the worlds, and he got to a place that was very high. And when he walked into this place, he looked and he saw that there was the angel of Matetron sitting down and writing the mirrors of Ben Israel. So it says that when Elisha ben Avuya saw that the angel of Matetron is sitting down, he got shocked. Shabunavuya was the teacher of Abimei Baalanes. He was a big time in Chacham. So he comes and he sees that in Shamayim there is someone that's not Hashem that is sitting down. Which we know that in Shamayim there is no concept of being tired. There's no concept of fatigue where you have to go and you have to find a place to rest. The only person, so called, that sits down in Shamayim is who? No, who? Akadosh Baruch Hu, where we, where we say he has the throne of Hashem. The only chair that exists in Shamayim is the Akadosh Baruch Hu's chair. Elisha ben Avuya sees Matetron, which we know Matetron used to be a man that he became into an angel, which is one of the greatest angels, biggest angels uh, that exist. He's sitting down. So Elisha ben Avuya got up. What did he say? Shnei Yashuyotish. 
He thought for a second, he said, maybe there are two gods. And then he ended up becoming a kofer and he went against the Akadosh Baruch Hu. The Gemara later on says that when Akadosh Baruch Hu, after Elisha ben Abuya went against the Torah, and he saw that Matetron was sitting, Akadosh Baruch Hu took a whip of fire and hit Matetron 60 pulsa denura. Hits a fire. And the question could be asked of why did Matetron get hit, punished with these hits of fire? Clearly, we know that Matetron got permission from Akadosh Baruch Hu to sit while he's writing the mirrors of Bnei Israel. So if he got permission, how can you hit him? Because Elisha walked into the room. So maybe we can say something amazing. Maybe you can say that Matetron was so severely punished with these hits of fire, not because Akadosh Baruch Hu gave him permission to sit and he sat, but because when a Talmid Chacham like Elisha ben Avuya walked into the room, he didn't stand. Where, like what the Alakha said, if you have a Sefer Torah coming in from one door, and a Tamit Chacham coming in from another, a Tamit Chacham is a Rav, a Tzadik, coming in from another door, who do you stand for? The Sefer Torah or the, or the Tzadik? You stand for the Tzadik. And Mateton didn't stand for the Tzadik and did not give Kavod to the Tzadik. And for that he got punished. So Abutai, we have an opportunity to give the Kavod to Rabbi Chaim Peter today. Take the opportunity, light a candle, and may the merit of Rabbi Chaim Peter, give us all big Bachavat Zachan.